Hi, right, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. And today we'll be learning a cross-site request forgery and how we can actually change someone else's username when they click onto the link that we created for them. So right in front of us, we actually have OWASP Juice Shop. So this is Open Web Application Security Project. And of course, right in front of us, we have a vulnerable site. And I really like the whole team behind this site because it's like an e-commerce site, but for Juice Shop. All right, so drinking a lot of juices would be really, really good and healthy for you, even if you're not an ethical hacker or penetration tester, whichever the case is, it's awesome. So in front of us, we have apple juice, apple pomace, banana juice so we got a lot of products right here and we can even have t-shirts and by the way if you want something like a t-shirt article hacking penetration testing would that be something that excite you would it be something that will garner your interest let me know on the comment section so on the top right corner we have account so i'll go ahead and click on our account now click under login and as you can see here i already have an account so let's go ahead and log in to the website so i can enter hackaloy at loyliangyang.com and I'll enter the password to log in into the site. So I'll go ahead and click login. So now we're in. Okay, as simple as that. We have login into the site. We registered an account earlier and I can click on our account and I can click under the user profile. All right. And here we have the user profile. So I can zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see. And we have here the username is Hackaloy and we have the Hackaloy slash. Okay. And of course, what I can do is go to the top right corner. All right click onto the menu, click on the web developer, and click on the network. Go ahead and click on the set username. All right, so we have the following, which is 302 posts. And we can see over here, we have the requests, username equal Hackaloy, as simple as that. So what it can do now is to actually allow us the ability to go ahead and launch the attack against the user. So what I have done here on Mousepad, as you can see, I've created a form. So this form is our fake form. And all we got to do is make sure that user can click on submit button, okay? So what I can do now is to go ahead and open up this particular file. All right, so I can go ahead and open up terminal. I can zoom in a little more. And I can CD to where the file is. So I can CD to desktop. All right, CD over desktop. So all I got to do now is open in Firefox, OWSP, Juice Shop, CSRF.html. Hit enter on this, and we open up the file. So this is a form. This is a fake form that we've created, and we can host it on any web application server. So what's going on now is that, of course, when a user sees this, they will be reluctant to click on the submit query because they have no idea what this does. And of course, I have not beautified this particular page. So what else can we do as an option? And you've seen earlier, right? We can actually use a script to do just that. So right at the end, all right, of the file that we have created, I have a script. So as you can see here, we have script document.forms, and this is a open bracket, a square bracket, zero. What does this mean? This means that the first form, all right, inside here, we'll be able to automatically submit on the user behalf, and now I'll go ahead and save it. And now I'll go back, all right, into terminal, and I'll do the same enter, okay? And in this case, of course, we can have the value, and I'm going to change this over to anonymous, all right? And I'll save it now, go back into terminal, and I'll hit enter in 3, 2, 1. I'll hit enter right now. Look at that. We just changed the username, just like that, because of cross-site request forgery, because you are already logged into the site. And when you're already logged into the site, you click onto the link, that's it, it's game over, okay? Because what the hackers would do is that they would submit the form automatically on your behalf, and that's it. And there's a lot more kind of attacks that can be born out of this type of cross-site request forgery by creating all these fake forms, malicious forms. You can, for example, transfer the amount inside the bank account. You can, for example, add items in the shopping cart. You can check out from the shopping cart. You'll be able to pull all the credit card information and throw it back to another server. And we'll explore more of this on future tutorials. If you have any questions, post them on the comment section and we'll like, share, and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.